I'm sorry for falling down your chimney. It was an accident. I thought it was a tree. But you could have been civil about it. You could have just opened the door and let me out. But you had to make it all dramatic and stomp and run and yell after me with a broom. What if you were trapped in a giant's house and he was stomping after you? It's traumatizing. I'm trying to see things from your perspective. I understand you don't live in nature. But I still don't get how you can be scared of a fluffy, wood-dwelling mammal the size of your foot. Your dog was chasing after me for a completely different reason. He just wanted to get me in his jaw so he could break my back for fun. Oh, you think that's funny? Well, I happen to know that this is your same dog who pooped on your favorite rug last week. Yeah, where he gets around. And when he poops outside, he makes you pick it up. I don't even pick up my own poop. You had to take your dog to obedience school. I build my own house. Sure, I built it out of leaves, but other more comfortable materials were in use. You buy him dog food. I find my own food. You think you're fancy because you buy science diet and it has this uh, special protein in it? Hey, you know where my protein comes from? Nuts. And it's all natural because I get it in nature. And still you think I need to be domesticated. Look, lately I thought you were offering an olive branch of friendship by putting food outside for me. Turns out you were putting it in a squirrel-proof bird feeder. Sure, they look pretty, but these are animals that eat your food out of one end and thank you on your car with the other. You just love animals that crap on your things, don't you? What, you think you're the only species that likes french fries?